Hi, my name is Jim from Ericto, and in this video I'm going to show you the fastest and easiest way to get started with Kubeflow by installing MiniKF locally using Vagrant. If you haven't already done so, make sure to head on over to ericto.com slash get started to sign up for MiniKF to see what all your install options are. Okay, system requirements. You want to have 12 gigabytes of RAM, two CPUs, and you got to have 50 gigabytes of disk space free. This is your laptop. Double check. Operating systems, we got you covered. Linux, Mac OS, and Windows. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to show you how to do it on Mac OS. All right, prerequisites. You may or may not already have these things installed and configured. If you don't, you're going to need Vagrant. So head on over to vagrantup.com slash downloads. It's two commands to get installed. VirtualBox, virtualbox.org. It's a wizard-driven GUI. It takes just a couple of minutes to get installed. Three quick tips and tricks. If when you are installing, you see a VBox manage error, it probably means that, especially on Mac, you need to go to the system preferences, security, privacy, and make sure to authorize VirtualBox as an application that can access the system. Free space, if you get a VBox manage error, it probably means you don't have 50 gigabytes of free space. Double check. And if you walk away during the Vagrant up command to get a cup of coffee, you come back, it looks like the install stalled. It's not. It just means that the plugin installed successfully and you need to rerun Vagrant up. Okay, the actual install is going to be three steps. The first one is going to be two commands at the command line. Step two is going to be clicking enter at the browser. And then the last step is just going to be logging in and boom, you're going to be at a Kubeflow UI. All right, let's go ahead and see this in action. The command line, let's run Vagrant in it, a ricto slash minikf. That's going to drop the appropriate configuration file in the appropriate directory. Then we want to run Vagrant up. Now, this is going to take a couple of minutes, but through the magic of time-lapse videography, once you get to 100% completed, you're going to see some additional output in the window. And what we're looking for is that green output, which is going to tell us success, but it's also going to give us the IP that we want to tap into our browser to finish out the installation. In this case, it's going to be 10.10.10.10. So let's go ahead and tap that IP into the browser. And from here, inside of the MiniKF uh, visual installer, just go ahead and click enter and the rest of the install should go smoothly. And once it concludes, what you want to do is you want to grab the username and the password um, that you're going to see here and you want to put that into the login screen. And once you successfully log in, you're going to be at the Kubeflow UI. And from within this UI, you have a couple of options. One is you can work through the tutorials that are highlighted there. Second, you can read through the documentations. Or third, you can stay tuned for a subsequent video which we're going to show how to navigate the Kubeflow UI so you can start taking your models from your laptop into production. That's it. Thanks. Happy Kubeflowing.